Hey everyone, welcome to Mama From Scratch. My name is Emily and I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Today we are gonna be spring decorating and doing some DIYs and cleaning. I am so excited. We're actually gonna be changing up this wall, the built-ins and the fireplace. We're gonna be adding DIY floating shelves that you can create here at home. I am so excited to give it a little change. I love the mirrors, but I'm ready for a little bit more now. So I went to the lumber yard and I picked up some oak paneling and some particle board now the original plan was just to go to the store and get 1 by 12 oak boards couldn't find that they only had one by sixes and then I have to biscuit join them together and I didn't want to do that because I don't have that tool and then I tried to find a white oak plywood they didn't have that either and so I went to a lumber yard and they said they had oak paneling and I said yes please and then they had particle board so it cost me $66 for the supplies so I just used my table saw and ripped everything down to the right size. I decided to do my shelving a little bit uh, smaller than the actual built-in. So my built-ins are 15 inches in depth. And so I decided to make the uh, shelving 13 inches in depth. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but it made a huge difference in the way it appeared. So I'm just using some two by twos and basically I'm going to be making a bracket that's going to sit inside of my floating shelves. So I have the back piece and then the front piece, I'm actually going to set that back just a little bit. Since my shelving is over 36 inches on each side, I need to have that middle brace. That way the boards don't flex down in the middle. And also because I'm not using um, really thick plywood for this either so I went ahead and just drilled where I'm going to be putting the screws into the wall into the studs and I do this so that when I go to screw it into the wall it won't split the wood and so I'm going to measure about three inches above the mantle I thought that that looked really good I'm actually only going to be adding one shelf to both sides of the fireplace and so I made this super snug so I had to kind of tap it in a little bit on each side but you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm going to get it somewhat level and then I'm going to screw into the wall and then pull that screw back out partially and I'm going to use these wall anchors because I don't have studs in my wall here so I need for support I can't just go straight into the drywall I gotta use at least drywall anchors so I made sure I measured really well and then I brought them um, brackets back up to level and then used longer wood screws that were the same size as the screws that came with the wall anchors and it worked flawless and then for the back corners my studs were there so I just put the screws in at an angle and then I did put a back support on um, and I found the studs in the wall for that. So I'm really happy with it, it was super easy to do. Um, just have to measure really well, basically. And then I just used my nailer and nailed in the top board and the bottom board, but you can screw these on. So if you ever wanna take them off, you can do that. now is put the um, real uh, wood on top, front, and the bottom, and then there'll be beautiful floating shelves. part we're going to be adding the beautiful oak wood to it 
I couldn't decide which one I wanted to stare at. It was so pretty looking and it's not stained at all. Um, I haven't even put a finished coat on. I will put a wax on it, but it's so pretty. It's not too pink or peachy. It is the perfect shade for my house and I love it. So I ended up getting that a little tight. So I just kind of bumped it up there and then I nailed in the bottom one. And then you actually um, should add some wood glue. So for the top one, I added some wood glue on my particle board and then I put my oak shelving on top of that and then nailed that in. If you want to get white oak boards that are an inch or two inches thick it's really pricey so this is a great option and when you add that final front piece you have these beautiful floating shelves that you can do and create yourself or at home for a fraction of the cost. I just love the way they turned out. So pretty. So it's a whole new day and I'm so excited to decorate the brand new oak shelves. I decided just to do one on each side for a nice balance, nothing too much, and also to play off the TV height. I mean, I could raise TV, but it's already really high. And the reason we have it there is because of the heat from the fireplace. So I'm really excited to style up these shelves for springtime. I shared a lot of the items in my spring haul. If you happen to miss that, it'll be linked eye in the sky and also in the description box. Just hit that little arrow down. It was my last video, so you can check that out after this one. But I'm just so excited to spring decorate and clean up a little bit of things. And I got a new rug. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get started decorating. I absolutely love this rug, the design and the color. It's perfect, but it hasn't worn the best. Um, it's not a super thick rug, it's on the thinner side. And so I want to kind of just change it up for the springtime. I'm not ready to get rid of this yet. I'll probably use it maybe in the office or something, but I ended up getting a beautiful new rug from Laloy from the Amber Lewis line and I really like her design and everything and so this is going to add a little splash of color to the space so I'm really excited to see how it's going to look in here and the rug is beautiful it's really well made and I like that it doesn't actually have a pile on it as far as like regular carpet does it's all like basically a single pad and I really like that for wear especially with animals I think it does really well we have one actually in our um, bathroom and I really like the cushion pad on it even though there's no pad underneath it it's just held up really well and so I'm excited to see how this one will do I know I ordered an 8x10 for this room which I know it might seem small but it's actually a really good size for this room because if I do a 9x12 it actually um, ends up overlapping my floor vent which I can't have um, otherwise if I turn it the other way then it's like too skinny so this size actually works really well for us. I'm just going to put the furniture back together and I'll show you how it looks. It definitely has a little bit of a pink tone to it, but it really changes the whole look of the room, which is kind of fun for springtime. I really needed to wipe down these shelves because there was so much dust on them. I didn't wipe them off when we were outside uh, cutting them. So I'm really glad I took the time to do that because, oh my goodness, there was a lot of dust on them. Can't get 
at the at home store, I also picked up these beautiful frames. They have a really large matting. Um, I love the size and they were only $20 a piece, which is great because at Target, I think they're like 50 for this size. So I was really happy to find this. I'm really excited to style the shelves, but still keep them somewhat simple so I don't overpower the space. I don't want it to feel cluttered in here. And since the fireplace is a little bit more of a modern vibe, I definitely want to keep it more on the simpler side. But you will see, I still added quite a bit of florals to them because it's a great way to use up the space, but I love greenery and florals. They make me smile, make me so happy. So you'll see that I incorporated a couple of different colors in there just to brighten up the space and bring that touch of spring to it. This uh, shelf has items from the at-home store on it, and then the florals are actually from Target and Hobby Lobby. This fern is from Target. Everything will be linked down below in the description box so you can get it for your home if you'd like to. And I just used a couple of pieces that I already had and incorporated the new items. For the coffee table, I've been trying to order another one of these, but it's sold out. So until it comes back in stock, it's just going to be a single. The outer pink florals are from Hobby Lobby last year. And then the tulips are from Amazon and they're so beautiful. They're so realistic looking. I absolutely love them. I actually ordered a couple other colors, but they weren't as nice looking as these ones. So I definitely recommend these ones a thousand percent. They are so beautiful. I'm going to order another one so that I can make it a little bit fuller too. But now for the couch, I'm just going to um, take out some of the whites in here and a couple of the blankets and change it up a little bit. Welcome to this one way ride with all on it, got to, got to give it a go. Don't you know why the floor of yesterday? You can change it anyway, and you're never alone, never alone. Doesn't matter what they say, doesn't really matter what they do. They go, Baby, let me breathe it now. They go, they go, breathe it now. Doesn't matter where I go, heart still open, can I close? So I actually was able to go to Pottery Barn this week and look at sofas and chairs. They have this beautiful um, barrel chair that I like a lot. And so we picked up some swatches and I brought them home. And this one looks so similar to our couch. And this one has the same feel as our couch. It's a polyester. And I like this coloring a lot. It's not a performance fabric, but she said it would hold up just as well. So I really liked the way this one looked. Um, this one was a pretty option, but it's definitely darker. And then she actually showed us some leathers and I wasn't going for this look at all, but the options were actually quite nice. Now this one, she said that if you get um, this style, cushions can look a little lighter. Let me know if that's true. This one was a super soft one. This is a traditional black leather, which is nice, but it's really stark. And then I originally was looking at this fabric, but it pulls green when you look at the big swatch in the store and that's not really what I wanted. So I'm just going to kind of ponder some of the ideas for that for right now, but it was really helpful. The chairs were really comfortable. We found a couch that we liked. So it's just a matter of choosing a fabric and taking that plunge because everything I would order wouldn't come till July. We will see. Um, if you've ordered anything from Pottery Barn, let me know what you recommend or what you do not recommend. Please let me know in the comments. So 
So now for the frames, I actually wanted to add the pictures that I printed out in my spring haul that I showed you. These are beautiful. They're digital prints, so you can just order them online. They cost around a dollar or two a piece to download. And they're really pretty. This was a wildflower field, and then I got some like roses. And I was planning on getting the picture frames with like a larger matting for the picture if that makes sense and so since I didn't I ordered the small ones and I put the large prints in it and I don't like it as much um, I feel like I need an in-between size so maybe I'll just get a different matting or try cutting the matting I know people say cutting your own matting is not the best idea so we'll see what I end up doing but I wanted to share these beautiful white tulips with you they are real touch tulips so similar to the um, coffee table ones but they have a different texture to them and I definitely prefer the coffee table ones but these are beautiful in white they do have them in different colors the pink did not look so good in person the white is definitely better um, but I'm just going to kind of rearrange the entryway table here and I'm going to just kind of clean up everything and give it a good wipe down since we are starting to spring clean and decorate the house. Because we have been working hard right from the very start. Who knew we get this far? But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it. Mate. Call it a day and celebrate. The living room rug has so many different tones in it. I feel like it looks different throughout the day in different lighting. So it's kind of different. Um, I like it though. But I ended up washing my ruggable for the kitchen. I spilled like so many things over the last three days for some reason. I haven't normally spilled anything on it. So I gave it a good wash and it feels good to have that nice and clean and in the space. I would not do a traditional rug in my kitchen just because I spilled too much apparently. <laughs> But I wanted to give the one that I showed you in the spring haul a whirl in the uh, bathroom. And I really like it, but it's too short. I need a 3 by 7 in here. So hopefully uh, they have that size. I'm going to take a gander and see what happens. But I really like that rug. It's actually really pretty in the living room. Um, but they don't have the right size for the living room. So, you know, kind of go with the flow here. Sometimes we need to stop to see what we have a sense. I'm grateful about everything because we have been working hard right from the very start. Now we get this far, but now it's time for us to stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it, mate. I really love the way the main living area and entryway came out for springtime. I absolutely love decorating the house and spring is so much fun because we get to add pops of color in here and hopefully the snow will go away soon. But I am so excited to continue to share spring decorating with you all. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that and have your bell notification on. I really like the way the shelves turned out. Again, I try to keep it simple. I know I have a lot of florals on here, but I absolutely love flowers. So um, I just couldn't pass up having and adding those to the shelving. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some ideas from it. Everything you've seen in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Just tap the arrow on the right part of the screen and it will take you to that. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you, Zan, for spending part of your day with me. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until next time, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Like the heat on my skin takes me back